allow them to be free. You know, I, I don't panic, I don't want them near me all the time. They've been on a lead maybe five times in their whole life. And I only use the lead if I'm in an area where there's cars and stuff that I've got to um, keep them safe. Uh, I think the fact that I allow them to run and play, I take them to environments like this, they, that natural wolf is there. When I first got them, I didn't know that they were timber wolf. I, I was under the impression that they were Malamut mixed with a pure white Siberian mom. And uh, dad's name is Chaos. He's a beautiful black panda bear looking Malamut, but he's half timber wolf, which I only actually really found out when they were three. That was one thing that missed me, but I always knew there was something different about them. I thought it was Arctic wolf or something in them. I then wanted to give them uh, Inuit god names and I decided to go with tribal names and I've always been intrigued by the Caribbean Indians called the Arawak Indians. Their language is called Wawik which was my name and I called Lady Storm, her baby name was Storm, I called her Arawak because I always liked the name, it's a beautiful powerful name and Inca is because I spent a lot of time in Peru with the Incas and I followed the Inkari, the path of the Inkari, which is a really beautiful tradition, and so I called him Inca. I've known these, this, these animals for a very long time, not these two is, as such, but the breed. And another friend of mine's got a Siberian husky, and we were like best, best friends. And it was, it was because of, of Laska that I decided to get these two. And I've gone out of my way to socialize them as best I can. And because I, I made a deal with the owners that gave me the dogs, that I'll only take them if I can keep bringing the dogs back to see the family because they've got six others there, so that they could at least keep a pack mentality, because they're a pack dog. And because of that, it also stopped the jealousy between them, because the brother and sister, if you just keep two dogs, they become jealous of each other. So now they're not jealous of each other. She can go and play with her brothers, and he can play with the sisters, and they, they've got that really cool, cool pack mentality, which is, um, has really helped, because on the beach, Inca never fights. He really doesn't. Um, He's not aggressive at all. If, if other unsocial dogs attack him, he just kind of fends them off with his chest and stands and stares them down most of the time. I've never seen him actually get aggressive with anybody. It's a baby! Run, 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 run! Anybody can have a relationship with any animal in nature, I believe. Um, sure, but I don't, I don't propagate that everybody should go out and get themselves a wild cat or a big cat or a, that, that I don't think is really cool. Um, if, if you come across an animal that needs rescuing or needs help, a sanctuary kind of space, yeah, then, then, then I, I go for it. The wolf dog thing in Cape Town, South Africa at the moment is exploding. It's, they originally came to South Africa because of the old nationalist government. And what they did was they tried to breed the army dogs, the Alsatians, with wolves to try and make them more violent, more aggressive, more intelligent, and it completely backfired because the wolf dogs are friendlier. They, especially the Malamuts and the Husky dogs, they are bred for thousands of years to not hurt people. The moment a wolf sled dog attacks somebody, they would kill it. 
So these dogs are not known to be like guard dogs. These animals are really beautiful and if you treat them well, they'll treat you well. I spent my whole life looking at them through a camera. So they've got used to seeing me through this thing. And I've seen them actually on the beach. If there's a photo shoot happening, they tend to want to get in there. <laughs> so they're young stars, I mean, they really are. You know, I can't go anywhere without people taking photos of them. I try and walk them at least once a day, from, for about two hours at least. And uh, this is a great beach because there's nobody here and it's four kilometers long and there's all these sand dunes. I'm not stuck in a forest or anything and I can kind of see where they are. Secondly, it's a, very, it's a good place to socialize them. You need to have these animals socialized. A lot of people don't socialize any animals. You know, they keep their pit bull tied up in a little courtyard and then the moment it comes outside it just wants to kill everything because it doesn't understand anybody. So since they were three months old they've been thrown, they're beach bums, so they're used to lots of other dogs, they're used to lots of kids, so that's kind of why I chose the beach. And I'm a beach bum, so I go to the beach every day in any case, so they just had to come with me.